I want to Gary Lux. <laughs> and but you were just not having it. So that's what I remember. Do you remember? Okay, I'm trying to make sure I get that done right. Oh uh, no. The bird's going for the communion wine. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay. Sorry. What? Nothing. Queso. Mm. Queso. I had a queso burger yesterday. It was only okay. <laughs> okay. What? Only okay. It wasn't. Yeah, well, it, was, it was like the queso was kind of solid. Anyway, so it wasn't like the melty cheese. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Love you. All right, so Zoldan is in Pandolin, and everybody else is in Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. Well, I've, I've teleported to Fandolin. Right. Um, to drop off the children's. Yes, because I did, um, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how I did it. It was word of recall to go back to my little temple in the house and then teleport via stone uh, using the axe. All righty. So. And so, so what is your so, so while he's in pain, what's everybody doing in Waterdeep? I got to get used to hearing myself talk. So, um... Do you have your noise? No, it wouldn't matter. I can go to the craft room. No, it's fine. Alright, so, um, we're s still inside the church. Do I see, um... Oh, what's her name? G Sister Gorel? Is that her name? No, you're not. You're not a fan one. Oh, is that where that Harper is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Aries, should we? Um, should we just Look, go Charlie. straight on to the council? Like, is there anybody in in the church right now looking at us just because we're like? We just banked here. I mean, that's not something that's uncommon, so it doesn't look odd. Uh, maybe we should show Echo around a little bit, you know? He's uh, new to all this. Okay. He looks a little overwhelmed. Yes. Let me look, let me look at a setting on her. Um, her Google Meet thing here and see if I can don't 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 move it. Don't move it. Okay. Don't move it. See if I can get it there. They added a new little Not feature to D and D Beyond. It says launch game. Oh uh, really? D &D Beyond. Yep. Right where it says circle of stones on the character sheet has a little play button. Are you gonna have turn on? I wonder if that's where you can do um, combat um they, they've been working on that for ever since before they sold it mm -hmm. i click on it, it says your dm is not currently hosting a game session so well, let's see what happens if he does well, give me a minute that's kind of cool if you take one airpod out it's not as bad just take one out and then okay that's what i do whenever i talk to you at lunch Okay, let's see here. We're going to take a pause for a second, see if we can figure this out because that might be kind of handy. Do, 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 do. So we're waiting. We're waiting on Zaldin. Is that what I heard? Sorry, I was playing with this. Yeah, I was wondering what y'all were going to do while you were 
um, waiting on him. So in the meantime, I'm going to see what I can. So I'm going to go in here, view campaign, and then what is launch map? Well, this is different. Create encounter, launch map. No map selected. Well, here we go. Source books. How is Alden going to get here to us again? Do you remember, Aries? He was, he had a, he had a spell for that, right? Do, yeah, he's going to teleport okay. with an item. Okay. I'm just going to throw a map in here. That's just grass. What happens if you click it now? Is there anything you get? Looks like they're... Oh, it pulls up a map. Of grass? Of just grass. So, so where's your token? Token browser. Oh, yeah. oh wait. Hold on. Players. So oh, wow, there, there you are. That's cool. Oh, okay. It doesn't really, it doesn't click in, but you can move it around freely. While we're waiting, Echo is going to step hey, out. I can add to monsters too. Fight. This might be. I mean, this is not. This is kind this of, is kind of really 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 roll twenty. You know what? Who's Hawk? Oh, that's you doing. Um, yeah, just <laughs> hand tool. So I just around. So I can. Oh, you can. Okay, oh, we. Can, I don't think we can draw. What does that look like? Does that? What does it look like on your end? Just a gray blob. <laughs> So it does it completely cover the map? No. Oh, no, it did. Zaldan, do you see anything? Because I don't see anything happening on my end. So if you go to... You see it um, as I do this? Oh, yeah. That's cool. So it's like, almost oh. like the shadow. It's a bit better. This is really cool. Um, on your D and D Beyond character page, where it says campaign, circle mm -hmm. stones in the middle, click that little triangle play button thing. I don't have a triangle play button. Why do I have? On your D and D Beyond page, um, where do you see the uh the little chat button? Oh, yeah, game log? it says game log. Right, right next to that, there's not a little triangle thing? Mm -mm. Right next to that is the anvil. Like To the right of it is the anvil. To the left, it says campaign circle of stones. That is weird. I don't, I don't see it. Mine says launch game. Oh, oh, that's I, cool. I see it under... I wonder why Zoldans don't have it. Because I can see it under... Aries, I can see it under. No, I don't see it under Diallo. I got Diallo's. Oh, you, you did get it to work? Yeah. What did you do? Um, I just clicked the little arrow button thing. It's, a, it's, it's basically, basically a play button. button but... Okay, I had to refresh the page. Ah. So, so there's Joey that one, he gets right too. If we, oh. we, we may not need to, uh, I said we don't have to use the, what's going on? 
I was sitting right here. I don't know what happened. I'm eating a sandwich. Oh, um, well, just whenever you're ready, go for it. Oh, oh go ahead. So, so go to uh, look who it is. <laughs> refresh your your uh, I'm sorry, I guess we have to get used to that. Refresh your NDVR window. I can hear everything I'm saying in my ears. <laughs> I can kind of double hear you almost. Mm -hmm. oh, can you? Yeah, it's, it's for some reason Summer's microphone is picking me up. Yeah. Well, I think the only solution to that is I'm going to need to just play in a different room. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that something different out next week. I just need to talk quieter. <laughs> so Everybody starts playing with noise canceling headphones. But I have noise canceling headphones. Yeah, we have the AirPod noise canceling AirPods. Oh. Okay. I wonder why it doesn't have all the adventures in it. Maybe they're just because they're just getting started. <clears throat> they only have two adventure modules in the maps, but I can upload maps. Oh, I never finished with Joy. Did you refresh your DVD on one Yeah, I'll do it again. Look next to where it says campaign circle of songs and see if um, there's a little play button. Let's go back. Yeah, you should be able to see it. You know where the chat where the animal is and there's a little chat log. There should be a launch game button right there. All right, let's go back to my campaigns. All right, what are we looking for? Um, you're looking at your echoes clear sheet. I'm looking at the my campaigns page. No, go to echoes page. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Characters. There's my man right there. Views page. You see where the anvil is, where it says go to builder. Um, and there's, it is a campaign circle of stones. Uh, yeah. You should see a launch game button right beside campaign, campaign circle of stones. It's a little triangle. Yeah, I don't know why it's not in there. Try clicking on it. Again. Oh, yeah, it says I'm in. All right, so, so now you go to the token browser and click players, and you should be able to see your player and just hit, hit plus, and it should put you on the screen. Wait, where is that? Um, so are you looking at the, all the graphs? Yeah, let me go to view the character. All right, so there's a sheet right there. Right, and you click that launch game button. Launch game. You should see a bunch of grass. Yep. All right, on the left-hand side, there's a little toolbar. Mm -hmm. Click the token browser, and then click the players tab, and then click the plus button by your character. There, there you go. Sweet. You click on the monster. You should click players, players, and it'll have. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. I see him. There he is. There he is. All right. Can I? How do I get rid of that one? Like that. <laughs> okay. Good deal. Players. Oh, here he is. Yeah. Yep, there he is. <laughs> that is cool. When I zoom out, does it zoom y'all out, or everybody's mm -hmm. independent? Everybody's independent. It looks like. Oh, that's good. I like it. <clears throat> this made me very happy. I mean, it's just getting started. It didn't have a lot of tools in there yet, but who cares? This is cool. Because I'll bet you I don't have to fumble for tokens anymore. So, okay, the only problem is technically right now, Zoldan is actually not here. <laughs> But I don't do all that. Look at you. 
I wonder if I can put more than one map out at one time. Let me see something here. Here's a mushroom cave. Well, so well, what happens when I do that? Does it change all the map? Yeah. Uh, yep. So let's just say for fun that Zoldan is actually here in the mushroom cave. While everybody else is here in the grass. There we go. Does that work? <laughs> yeah, it changes back and forth. So you could have yeah. us in multiple sets. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm going to be loading some maps between. You know, out of line. I don't want to have anything on my next week. <laughs> I can load some maps between now and then. I don't think anybody else can. Oh, well, but guess what? Uh, I hand have. And take it. I have my one shot planned. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, well, you can do that and make your campaign in here. Then. Just no, I am not. No, I told you guys it's all going to be on paper. It's all going to be old school. Oh. Yep, no digital. That's what's taken me so long. I didn't want sure. digital stuff. All right. So, what are you guys doing in Waterdeep while, while Zoldan is taking care of the children? Well, Echo walked outside. And I saw him walking outside being extremely uncomfortable. So I'm going to follow him. Okay. I'm just going to float up in the sky for a little bit and look for uh, rodents and rats and anything. Well, there are plenty in water, I promise. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Rose, that's that's Jack. Jack. there you go. Oh, uh, I really don't want to because bad things happen. Well, I wonder if you can do that from the map in here. It did, I, don't have a, it, I don't have those buttons. I have a token browser. Well, no, it's got a hand tool. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I'll do it on. Um, so, are we working in roll 20 today or? Uh, maybe back and forth. Okay. All right. All right. Give me a D20. Roll it. Uh, rolling a D20. There's a four. You rolled a four? Mm -hmm. And your perception is a plus three. So you got a seven. Mm -hmm. Wow. You're not actually, actually finding a very many roads. Maybe it's the time of day or the weather or whatever, but there's not many lurking about. Hmm. <laughs> so you're probably going to get hungry. God, it's been really bad. Sorry. Um, it's like your body has got more anything in the store. Do what? I was asking Diala if she needs to go shopping. I do um, not. Um, I feel like I just, whatever you guys need to do, want to do, I, I kind of feel like I have everything that I need. So... Whatever you guys need. Yeah. Um, I we maybe if we can find um like a meat shop or something. I I don't really know what to kind of help him with. Maybe they have some like a dumpster or something out back. But he looks a little hungry and nervous and scared. Um, I want to make him feel welcome. Okay. Is there a butcher shop nearby? A butcher shop? Um, yeah. You, um, there is uh, Marty's Meats. That's about it. <laughs> I'm looking for something else to hear. 
<clears throat> Little did you know I have the sword of omens and I'm gonna use sight beyond sight. You have what? Sword of omens. <laughs> Actually, you're at the meat market. Echo, did you come with us to the meat market? Yeah, I'm just out, just kind of flying around. Um, I'm gonna try some more. Okay. I was just texting you. So just sort of leisurely flying about, not really too much of a care in the world, just kind of seeing where things are and what it looks like so I have a better idea. Because <clears throat> now that I'm starting to think about that this whole indoors idea of indoors, I just need to know that there is an outside because it's who knew that you could come back out so that's why uh, I mean I'm just walking along and then poof bright light and I'm shooting monsters and everybody's shooting me and then now we're here what a heck of a day so I'm just kind of <laughs> taking a breath yeah. taking it all in what what would be a um, um, what kind of armor do you have Echo do you have armor what? What kind of armor do you have? <laughs> like, do you, what kind of do you, are you? This he has the same Tit kind of robe that you have. Titanium feathers. Fancy. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure he's like protected and stuff. His is a different color. Okay. Oh, coat of many colors. We, well, no, we... his is a different color than yours. But... His feathers uh, that... are red. Oh, so like the feathers. wizards that we just fought? No, like a chicken. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, we're talking about the robe. I know, it's just funny. Like the wizards? No, like a chicken. <laughs> like a chicken. Just a plain old red rooster. <laughs> Echo, I'm trying to be nice to you and make sure you have everything you need. Yes, yes. It's a plain old red rooster wearing a fine imported silk robe. I mean, that's kind of true. <laughs> yeah. Well, sounds, sounds good to me. Are you hungry? Yes, that's why I'm not flying around looking for rabbits and rats. And how close are we <laughs> no. to the coastline? Can I see some crabs or fish or anything? Uh, you're actually not far from the coast. You can uh, roll another perception check. Let's see what you see this time. I don't know about that. Now, if I roll the wrong way, I'm going to crash. <laughs> um. All right, D20, hit it. Oh, there we go. 19, baby. Plus that other, what, four? Plus three. Plus three. I can see into the future. <laughs> all right so actually yeah, you, you can down the coast you can see uh, there's quite a lot of fish that have washed up to, not to the oh god i'm sorry i'm trying to maybe i, I just told you like give me five minutes five minutes now just go to the yeah. cracker yeah y'all yeah. okay. give us a pause give us five minutes Do -do -do -do. i'm sorry that is so distracted i can't <laughs> Information. I'm just gonna fly around that water's edge while we're waiting, and I'm gonna be looking for, I don't know, maybe a dock, maybe to see where some fishermen are coming in, and I'm looking for birds because if I see seagulls, I'll know there's fish over there. So I'm gonna go in that general direction looking for seagulls. I'm gonna go inside and find like twenty. Fifty pounds of fish for um, and, um, I'll pay for fish. He don't need to buy fish. He's picking fish off the beach. Oh, did he? I didn't know he rolled good. Oh yeah, he rolled really good. He rolled a twenty-two. He said he could see into the future. Well, see, I didn't want any of those dead ones. I'm going to try to go steal them. 
<laughs> Live one. I want to get they some, didn't want to do I want to get some fresh <laughs> ones right out of the nets. <laughs> so whenever those fishermen come out, I'm going to try to see what I can do. Sorry to disrupt that. She's moving into another room because it was. Oh, that's all right. It was so bad. Like everything I was saying, I was like two words behind myself, and I'm hearing myself, and I cannot. I was like, yeah, I, I couldn't heard. talk. <laughs> I, I heard it echoing. <laughs> uh, well, now I don't see in the future anymore because I don't hear the echo. So. <laughs> <laughs> You are the echo. It, it, it is. Uh... <laughs> I feel kind of bad because she's having to like pack up all her bags of dice and all this stuff and move to another. Get out of here. <laughs> well, <clears throat> so Thank you. she wouldn't know it because she's not here and I'm way over there circling around the beach and I see the boats coming in and and then I see all the seagulls flying around. So I know something's going on. And as I'm flying over, of course, my shadow gets over the seagulls and they all freak out and they all fly away. But I look down on the beach and i can see little dots moving along the beach so i'll just kind of cruise on down and i'll come down and while i'm walking over and i can see the waves are just really lightly coming in because of the tide well anyway what seems to be hatching are, are baby turtles so we've got some baby sea turtles here <laughs> and i mean there's nobody around and it's just like a buffet so i'm just going to start snagging them just, <laughs> just freshly born Maybe see, and there's like 50 of them, so I'm just going to get all as many as I can. Uh, and then I'll start heading back because I'm feeling pretty good. That but, way, when you can get back, you can just look at her and say, I like turtles. Well, I can say I like turtles. <laughs> plus, I can say there's a turtle leg sticking out right there. Sorry. <laughs> there's a turtle leg sticking out. I like turtles. Like, That's I like turtles. I can't believe she hasn't seen that video. Oh my gosh. It's like a 10 year old video. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, I was just going to see if the um, Marty's Meat had some rabbits. Get a couple of rabbits. rabbits? Let's see if Marty's Meat had some rabbits. Well, I'm on my way back with a 22. Keep that in mind. How far does my 22 carry me? I'm unfortunately there's not a rabbit. There's a couple of fish on the beach. A couple of turtles. Anything? It's better than nothing. And if we all eat baby turtles in front of summer, <laughs> he would break for staff and end the campaign. <laughs> uh, did you just ask for venison? Yeah, do they have like uh, venison or anything? Unfortunately, there's no fitness in it either. <laughs> what the they got turtles. <laughs> we, got, we do have turtles. <laughs> and I don't mean the little chocolate covered peanut things. Oh, the uh, <laughs> truffle thing. <laughs> Yellow truffles, uh, little turtles. <laughs> uh, what about ribeye sticks? Do you have any uh, sticks here? Uh, I just burned the place down and leave. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, nope, we are out of. We had ribeyes, and then uh, we just had. <laughs> I could not. I was like, surely there would be. Nope. I have not rolled anything higher than a seven. By the way. <laughs> so basically, every time you ask meat market guy, we got anything? He just says, "I like turtles." Right. He got you know nothing. what you're. You know what the problem is? Is you're you're asking for real world food. Ask for something more D and D ish. Um, mm, do you have any dragon it? chickens? Some dragon chickens. Dragon chickens. I swear, I am not making this up. 
19. <laughs> okay. What is- there are lots <laughs> of dragon chickens. <laughs> I'll take uh, I'll take four dragon chicken drumsticks and ten wings. <laughs> oh my god! I cannot believe that. Well, their uh, water deep uh, flaming chickens is is what they're called, and they're very similar to Nashville hot. Um, but in D and D, they would be the uh, water deep dragon chickens. Oh uh, yeah, there's like they're like two million. Uh, what do they call them? Just, uh, scullions or whatever. Yeah, they're not hot. <laughs> <laughs> they're mild. Yeah, I don't know how many scull- scullions are. Is it is that the word? Uh, Scoville. Scoville. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I don't know how many is hot. How many is hot? Um, it they start off like I mean, really. I've had the ghost pepper, and it's only hot for a second or two, and then it's just aggravating. I mean, it just kind of bothers you, but like the Carolina Reaper is no joke. I've had that one too, and that one's no joke. I mean, that's Freddy Krueger. I'm looking them up. Do you Carolina like Reaper? That? Carolina actually, Reaper. Reaper's oh, the top. 2.2 2 million. Yeah, the yeah. Carolina Reaper. We had I had that one. Um, there's a burger joint before we left Nashville. There's a burger joint up there, and they just did all sorts of weird stuff. And they had one that was a peppers, but they had a, a Carolina Reaper burger. And I thought, well, I'm an idiot. Let me try it. <laughs> oh, I was correct. I was an idiot for trying it. It was miserable. So the red dragon, the red dragon chickens are, you know, they're like three million scobles. Ah. But the uh, platinum dragon, there's like five million scoville. No one's ever actually ate one, um, and not <coughs> survive and survived. I mean, Hello? Actually, and right about that time, the bird. I'm gonna buy one. I'll, I'll buy one wing of the platinum. <laughs> A platinum dragon chicken. All right. Platinum. How you uh, how you faring over there, Echo? I'm good. I got plenty. Uh, if anybody's hungry, I came back with a whole bag. Hey, Dalla, would you like any? Um, he's offering you some food. It's fresh. It's not. I haven't eaten it. It's leftovers. I've got enough for everybody, and I just landed right as soon as you walked in. So I don't even if I know if everybody knows what I have in my bag, but you're here and I'm offering it to you first. What's happening? Uh, he's offering you some food. I don't, uh, she For must me? not heard any of that. Yeah. No, I just uh, got my AirPods in. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Uh, so what's happening? You're offering me food. Oh, I'm still full from oh, okay. the meal that you gave me earlier. Thank you so much. Oh, well, this is fresh. I just called it. I, I love sushi. I love sushi. Well, it's my favorite meal. But... It's pretty close. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, it is pretty close. I will um I will let you know as soon as I get hungry again. Okay. Well, I need to do something with them. They're all wiggling and I gotta <laughs> I'm gonna have to get rid of them, I guess, if nobody else is gonna eat them. I think Aries actually has a um a back room in his bag i could just take him into the meat market i guess and see if maybe we could barter oh that's a good idea he's out of t-bones and everything else maybe he wants a little bit of baby a freshly born baby sea turtle to add into the chicken (laughs) well he doesn't have much of anything else except for chicken i got about 40 baby hot chickens in my bag so Um, how much does all this cost me Got the baby sea turtle. <laughs> yeah, they're really good too. They're really soft and squishy. Oh, I no, I don't want to eat those. it. And then I scooped up all the rest and put them in my bag and brought them back to feed everybody. And a couple of them are, are where they jumped out while I was flying back. And since they're soft, they just kind of got. It just looks like a raindrop. But anyway, I have some. If if not, I'm just going to take them in and give them to the meat market guy. Maybe. Could I? Cheese. So is uh, is one of them still alive? 
Yeah, like, I've got about 40 of them in my bag. I list. just want to keep Can I just have one? Yeah, which Could part? You just, just, no, <laughs> I want the whole little thing and just put it in my hand. I want to keep them as a pet. Okay. So I'm going to look around in that bag and, oh, there it is. So I'm just going to kind of. Don't kill it. <laughs> oh. You were well, well, let me get you a different one. Yeah, give me one. I want to have them. No, no, no. The, hold on. Let me tell you. I want to keep them as a pet. I want to keep them alive as a pet, a, you know, a living thing. And I want to call them raindrop. Because you said they look like little raindrops. I yeah, when they fall and then just keep pop. him. No, but I want to keep him with me, like, like forever, kind of like Anakin. Okay. On a necklace. So no. Yeah. Right. Here, you can name it Skittles. Him, he'll pick him up in his beak and kind of come over and hold your hand out, and he'll just drop him in your hand. Thank you. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> you want another one? No, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, I'm, so for the, uh, the platinum dragon chicken, and uh, what about the red dragon chicken? Did you have any of that one? Uh, I'm gonna get. Hot. I'm gonna get ten wings and four uh, drumsticks or drumlets. These are them. red or platinum? Of the red. Of the red. Okay. Yeah, the platinum is kind of dangerous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's what's what go. is all, all of this for? Is this the food that we are getting for Echo, or is this food for like the boys? No, this is um, dragon chicken. They're, um, so the red dragon tr chicken is about as hot as the Carolina Reaper. It's pretty hot. Actually, a little bit hotter than the Carolina Reaper. The platinum dragon chicken uh, is seasoned so hot that it's twice. No one's ever eaten an entire platinum dragon chicken and survived. There's a sign above the case that says, Abandon all hope, ye who eat here. <laughs> I had to sign a like, waiver before I bought it. Right. <laughs> so, is, are, is this stuff being done as a challenge? Like, are you guys eating this, or is this like an echo thing? As no, I've got trying... baby sea turtles that are fresh. Okay. I don't know what they're doing. So, it's oh, 12 gold pieces, by the way. 12 gold? All right. Yep. Thank you, sir. Aries, are you eating this? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Dragon chicken is a delicacy. It's so, delicious. Yeah, I mean, do you want something like a, um, more like a barbecue, like a black, black dragon chicken or something? Did you get which, black dragon which chicken level of spice did you get? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but some people love it. <laughs> did you? Which one did you say that nobody's ever eaten the whole thing and lived? Platinum. Do, do they get like uh, pieces about one of chicken it? wing with platinum? Wait, I can't eat platinum. Oh, it's I've not dragon. It. It's chicken. Dragon chicken. Yeah, dragon, dragon chicken. chicken. It's extremely What's hot seasoned uh, chicken. But they're the chickens are. They actually have three legs. What's a dragon, dragon chicken? Dragon chickens are weird. I don't know. We're making this up as we go. <laughs> okay. But it wouldn't be like cannibal. Apparently, he doesn't have any regular meat. So we figured out what he had. And it was dragon. Yeah, chicken. I was asking so many things. I want he a chicken leg. Rabbit and venison and didn't have any of that. What was okay. it you had? Oh, he didn't want, want a ribeye. He certainly didn't have any of that. But then we asked for dragon chicken and poof, there it was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give me a, I, I would like a, um, a platinum dragon chicken leg. Wow. Just a leg. When you've got all of these delicious baby turtles. <gasps> I mean, there's just a whole. They're so cute. No, and you just, oh, he's got them. <laughs> you, just, you just eat them and then there's all different. I like turtles. I like turtles. You know, they're just little baby sea turtles. Like they don't them. even run. You just eat them. No, don't. Yeah, don't eat raindrop. I'm going to keep Raindrop with me right here on my, right on the inside of my rope right here. Oh, this one, I named him Trey. That's short for Entree. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's French. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> how much, um, 
Aries, uh, I'll pay for your chicken. I already bought it. Thank you, though. How much is my chicken leg gonna cost? Uh, it's, it, that's just uh, two gold. For the platinum dragon chicken? For plat platinum dragon chickens are expensive, yes. Two gold? Two gold just for a leg. Oh, I thought uh, that was These are raw cheaper. or these are cooked? No, they're cooked. They're already seasoned. They're not actually platinum dragons. They were just, that's, that's how they named the scale. Platinum being at the top of the scale. They're just really these odd three-legged chickens. How hot is the Tiamat chicken? Uh, it's it's about it, it, well, it has um five toes, <laughs> it has five heads. <laughs> Sean, look at uh, my um player page, don't refresh it, just look at my player page and tell me how much gold I have. Uh, a, a lot. What does it say? Well, you have uh, 3184 gold. Okay. But you got 22,000 silver. Why have you got 22,000 silver? Because I didn't want to convert it all to gold. <laughs> um, I accidentally messed up on taking my two gold out. And now it says I got 3,843,182 oh. gold. Yeah, you messed that up. Yeah, where is? Well, it should be hey, I just remember. Let me find my sheet if I can find it. Because remember, I want to. We busted open some point. stuff, and okay. then I drug out all those diamonds on the floor, sir. I've got like eighty-two. Ninety-five. Should be. There we go. Like ninety-five diamonds or something that I'm gonna have to probably sell. There. See, there's some shops around. Magic shops, so. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot you had some. Yeah, but I don't know where that notebook went, and I don't know. If, I don't think it's written in here. Uh, how much gold you have? I might have written it down. Well, you, how you many got, diamonds we picked up? You I had mean, about oh, eighty, didn't okay. you? Well, we each picked up. I I think I had eighty five, but you had more than eighty five or eighty nine. It's eighty something. But Echo you had, had eighty five, and Zoldy you had there. more. Like you I had, had like ninety seven or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had a little yeah. bit more. Do we have a way to contact um, Zaldan? Because he probably is going to want to do some kind of shopping himself. It's probably good Zaldan wasn't here because he's probably dead from, plat uh, from platinum dragon chicken right now. He doesn't well, have I, much. That's who uh, I've got. I saved him a piece. <laughs> this is That's who this is for. Oh, well, one leg. Yeah, sure. kill him. One way, one no, but way I'm not going to tell him how hot it is. <laughs> Oh, that's actually pretty funny. Yes. So we were in uh, off topic, but uh, we were in Tennessee two years ago, and we went to a fudge shop. And my brother thought it was funny to buy ghost pepper fudge. Ooh. And he was walking around. He's like, "Yeah, you want some fudge? You want to give it to everybody?" <gasps> and it was just like sweet at first. Then all of a sudden, your mouth is just in flames. Just oh my gosh! It hits you. <laughs> So my uncle was just craving fudge the whole and he was looking forward to this trip. He's like, Yeah, I got you some. Here, have some of this. He's like, oh, thanks, Josh. Grab some, starts eating. He's like, You freaking idiot! It runs into the store. <laughs> runs back into the store, grabs the whole bottle of water and just downs the whole thing, puts the empty bottle on the on the counter, was like, How much do I owe you for that? <laughs> oh, that's funny. He was dying. Oh. We had a uh, our first trip to Afghanistan. There was a um, I don't remember who got them, but uh, the hangar that we had like a little clamshell that was our hangar, and it was always dark in there. The lights never really worked, but for some reason, uh, somebody uh, had a whole bag full of green M and M's, green peanut M and M's. And I was underneath the airplane, and someone came over and said, you want a green M some green m and And I thought, yeah, sure. So I grabbed a few and just blindly threw them in. They weren't green m and They were wasabi peas. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, when you're expecting green M&Ms and you get a wasabi tea. Mm. First off, even when you're expecting a wasabi pea, they don't taste good, they're gross. But when <laughs> you're expecting a green M&M and you go, well, that's just unchristian is what that is. It is. Really <laughs> <laughs> but it was, um, well, hi, everybody get a good laugh. But yeah, it was gross. Don't ever do that. Oh, that wow. is, that's you. I, I'm not a wasabi fan at all. Nah. No. I like spicy stuff, but not that kind. Well, there's a trip to the Philippines uh, in the works. Come with us and, and and get crazy with your food. So, um, is, do we have a way to contact Seldon? Like, um, uh, you have a message spelled, don't you? Yeah, yeah, he told you how to do something. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes. That's. Yeah, so sending. I want to send them a message. I might okay. have one too. Let me see if I have it stopped. Zaldin. Yes, I have message as well. Zaldin, where are you? What is taking so long? Wait. Uh, that doesn't work. Never mind. Mom. Did you adopt those kids? Are you a dad now? Did you get married? Hurry up. Meet us here. We have food. You have three more. Love you. Bye. <laughs> um, fairly certain that I just got here, but all right. <laughs> On my way. Zaldin's on his way. He just said OMW. He didn't even say OMW. <laughs> 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 okay. Zaldin reacted to your message. <laughs> thumbs up. He gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> Zaldin has liked your message. It's <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to be saying I like turtles to everybody <laughs> from now on. Like my kids, I'm just going to randomly say I like turtles and not even give them any explanation. Mom, what's for breakfast? I like turtles. Watch the, <laughs> video, just leave. watch the video of the kid doing it, and then it's just a million times dumber, which makes it better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so now let's skip over to Fandolin for a second and see what Zoldan's doing. Um, so Zoldan has returned the kids back to the mother. Okay. Um, did she fall in love with you like that one mom did, Aries? That's the same mom. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something. She said, tell Aries, I said, hi. <laughs> we didn't return the kids, we ate them. In fact, Aries is the one that rescued them, so I'll be sure to send along your thanks. Oh, dear. Arendelle is not going to like this chick. <laughs> Are they gnomes? not the only one that can play matchmaker. <laughs> were, they, were they gnomes or were they dwarfs? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think they were human. They were human? Oh. And I thought they were like... Mm -mm. Gnomes or halflings or something. No, that's the one that uh, Zaldin has a thing for. Remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you boys and your girls. Um, I really do not have much gold. I've got plenty of gold. It It says in total, I've got 303 gold. You had not added your, what did, you have, must not have added your money that we got from. For a second, and um, put it back. That was weird. You must not have My added money. your money that we got from Fandolin. We got money from Fandolin? Yes. We got, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. 
That's not personal. Oh, I Didn't I, I use all that? To... You might have. But I think I made a withdrawal to get the last thing that I bought. Yeah, I Didn't think I? I used most of it on diamonds to bring the people back from the dragon attack. And cool. then you uh, you bought the stuff and we chipped in to help you out with it. Yeah, so I, I've mm. got plenty mm -hmm. of money. You just need to get here to me. I mean, I got 22,000 silver. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm trying to remember money, where right? all that silver came from. Yeah, I, I remember something about it. But where did that come from? So we we on, find it, uh, tre a treasure in that case, of silver or something. Something. Zaldan is just going to empty out his pockets of uh, silver, gold, platinum, everything, and give it all to the woman that uh, just got her kids back. So. I don't know my sister just texted me. Which sister? Alicia. Oh, Lord. Uh, Cameron's in the hospital. He's got appendicitis. Oh, and okay. Uncle, hmm. Uncle Bud's up there. Um, he has a blood clot in his neck from the IV port they put in last week, but he's doing better. Yeah. That's kind of scary. Yeah, Jeez. that is. Hmm. Uh, look, my notes on 825. After a long fight with Frosty and the dragon, Muhammad comes out of the clouds with seven trumpets. Did that really happen? <laughs> it was seven birds, but... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Zaldan stuck his tongue to Muhammad's frozen fire. And I poured dragon bile on his tongue. <laughs> that, that happened. Yeah. I'm sure I got the Was it that one that. that got me addicted to it? Or was it the one that was in No, the that was before that. Line. I feel like... Oh, I forgot about that. That was a long time ago. Yeah. What was yeah. that? I think that was the key. The first time I stuck my tongue to ice. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be uh, yeah. I forgot about that. Because uh, what finally happened to, to make y'all, how did y'all finally remove, somebody had to remove curse or something, wasn't it? Yeah, me, me did. <laughs> uh, you did? Yeah. Wait, I'm pretty sure I did. Or my Didn't sister. we um, conclude that we actually left the carpet behind? Huh? Mm, I don't know. I'm trying we to find it. it out, but uh, did we ever bring the carpet into the castle with us? Um, yeah, you have used the carpet since Skyrim's castle. Yeah, no, no, we just. I'm talking about the uh, place we just teleported from. Oh, I don't know. What happened to the carpet? Somebody grab it when we went inside um, the tower. I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, oh, are you saying that as soon as we went to walk in the hedge maze, did we grab it? Or did yeah, somebody yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying did oh. somebody get it. I mean, we would have grabbed it. Okay. Oh, yeah, y'all left the Pegasus and everything outside, didn't you? Well, the Pegasus is okay. He'll, he'll be okay. Yeah, he's still trained to a, chained to a tree outside. The... <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> I, I remember him, and I just poof him out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I my internet know. went crazy for a second. Did I miss anything? Is Alden still in Fandolin? What what happened? Um, I just gave all of my wealth to the woman. Gotcha. 
And um, that will help her quite a bit. She has had a rough, rough year or two. Yeah. Uh, it's probably about a year, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, isn't she the same one that owns that, uh, or owned the weapon store? No, that that was uh, Lenine Graywin. This is the lady who, way back when all this first started, uh, this group of ruffians called the Red Brands mm -hmm. um, basically kidnapped her and killed her husband and were feeding her husband to a Nothic in in the castle where y'all are staying now in Tresendar Manor. Mm -hmm. That was before it was restored. Uh, there was a big crevice right down the middle of the place. And anyway, so y'all rescued her and her two kids um, from the prison in Tresendar Manor. And then, um, matter of fact, Ares planted a headstone in honor because he was the so the husband was the first guy to ever stand up to the red brands and they murdered him so Aries planted a headstone to honor him as being the first one to the first person to stand against you know against the enemy like that mm -hmm. anyway uh <laughs> so she was basically we was joking about the whole thing with Aries, she was just a widower that he was trying to, you know, kind of put off in the right direction. Trust me, it, it wasn't it wasn't um, any kind of thing because th there was a bird on, sitting on his shoulder the whole time that would have pecked his eyeballs out. <laughs> <laughs> if there was any other kind of uh, ulterior motive, but yeah, it was that. That's what that was. So then, those are the two kids that happened to get. Um, kidnapped during the whole um, Fandolin raid, I guess you call it. Okay. I'll have to go back and look at my notes to see where the money come from, but it come from a chest, either a chest, or I think it come from, maybe I took a withdrawal out of our bank. I feel like uh, I that, like it's I a little odd for it to specifically be in silver. I, it had to have been a chest or something. Yeah. If it was a withdrawal, uh, it would have been. I in, do think that I gold. killed somebody and there was a chest that I specifically found a chest in a room. What was that? <laughs> I'll have to go back and look. I just don't remember who it was, but I know that it's in my notes. I just got to go back and find it. Dial was going to get arrested for money laundering. <laughs> but I do know also there was a time that um, because you made a comment about that normally we couldn't um, make withdrawals like ATMs but you let us um, have somebody bring us money oh that was a long you time ago wasn't it? I know that's that's one time that I was thinking that's the only other time I was thinking of where I actually got money from I think that's when you account. were that's when you were bought the bracers or something way back when no aries bought the bracers for me uh, it, was, it was around that time frame though yeah it was physically, inside the city physically where we located like uh, near the south uh, gate or um hang on a second i'll sh i'm gonna put it up in roll 20 so i can show you um because okay. i have a map of water deep in there i'm pretty sure don't i Mm-hmm. I think so. You sure I, do. I did it one time. Where's it at? <laughs> I have no idea. I was just trying to speak life into it, but <laughs> no, I'm I have i have got a map of Water Deep, but for some reason it is not in here at the moment. Um Wow, why do I not have a map of Water Deep in here? Well, I tell you what, instead of me trying to load it, I got an idea here. I can actually just come over here and take this down. And then I will. Uh, water deep. Map. Come on. 
Your rough on this one. It's a little bit interactive. I mean, you can like zoom in on it really, really close, and it'll give you numbers and grids and details. But that's it's probably that's the one I found. Oh wow, Water Deep is humongous. Yeah, it's pretty big. There's a lot of residential areas on the like right hand side of it, but I'm trying to pull up this map and set right there. Yeah, but the gentrification all up and down the coastline, I mean, it's just out of control. Why is my computer being so slow? I'm going to pull this over here where y'all can see what I'm looking at. Um. My so the market's right in the middle, so I'm guessing that's close to where we're at. Well, there's no, also docks um, way down here. Area. What is it? I just oh, my AirPod batteries are dying. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> you can take them out now that I'm not in there. That's a good Give me a second to figure out how to zoom on this thing. Uh, do they just die? We can still hear you. Oh, my, my left one did. <laughs> right right in here is where there's some area there, but <laughs> I, I'd say uh, you guys are probably closer to right in here. That's where kind of the heart of Waterdeep is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y'all seeing that? Yep. Mm -hmm. where? Um, yep. So you're close to right in the middle of it. I don't see Marty's meats. <laughs> Have you made it I to forget how easy Sullivan. things become canon in D and D. If you no, look, not yet. if you up and get over here. If you look, uh, click on the map to like blow it up to where it's big, uh, and uh -huh. then you'll see the um, uh, the actual physical icon uh, for C seven, like you see right in the middle where it says the market. Just to the left, you see it looks kind of like an inverted coffin is C7. Mm -hmm. Just below the C7 is there's sort of a, 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 a light brown uh, stall that's uh, shaped sort of like a heart. Uh, that's Marty's meat. That's where right, uh, <laughs> that's right there. I, it, it's not on the map, but it, I mean, it's not a sign. It's a new place. It's not on there yet. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to the day that he actually DMs a, at least a one shot or something. Oh my gosh, I know. It's going to be wild. Well, the, the <laughs> downside is it'll just be made up on the spot. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, it's just today's know. date. <laughs> what All right, it's almost 10 o'clock. So let's. Uh, Let's figure out where. Uh, so, Zaldin, what are you? What is your uh, goal while you're in Fanlin? Are you pretty much finishing things up there? Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I believe so. Just, um, I do want to check in and see kind of how like any modifications to the town are going. Like anything to boost defense or anything like that. So they're building the, the the wall around the city. Um, mm -hmm. It's actually going up very quickly because everybody is still kind of pitched in, and you guys were were in um, the tower for right the tower for quite a quite a little bit. Um, so it's the the out, outer wall is about eighty percent complete. Um, but since the focus went more on the outer wall of Fandolin, the fortification of Tresendar Manor is not quite as complete. It's probably at about forty percent. Mm -hmm. But remember, it was uh, it was being fortified also. So yeah, it's basically that, that's... becoming like a keep within a a keep, so to speak. Yeah, that's basically the safe haven. Should anything go wrong again. 
Right. It's like Helm's Deep. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. And um, I messaged you what I was going to do. Other than that, um, so yeah, I'll just go back to the room and, and use the axe to teleport to Water Deep. All right, so let's do. Um, uh, roll a d20 for me before you teleport. Uh, Ugh, six. Okay. Huh? You yeah, teleports. Te well, uh, te teleports are going to take on a little slightly different form for a little while. Things are things are things are odd at the moment. Hmm. So, but yeah, I no problem. You you successfully made it back to uh, to Waterdeep. Cool. All right. But now you made it back to the uh, um, the little church area thing wherever y'all always teleport to. Mm -hmm. So it takes you a few minutes to find your way back to where they are at Marty's Meats. <laughs> Marty's Meats. Uh, did, where are y'all? Where was everybody else at that point? Y'all still just kind of hanging out, um, playing with the turtles? Yeah, I guess if uh, if Dalton <clears throat> said he was about to come, we would be waiting on him. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, do y'all have any idea where you want to go from here? I'd say back to the council. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I don't have no anything council specific. Currently in session, so, um, which um, council? Do you, you, you talking to Waterdeep Council, Dragon Council? We could probably uh, speak with the Dragon uh, Council. Yep. We could probably speak with Elia, right? The Silver Dragon. Yeah. 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 She could. Um, she could get a message to the council members on some things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you? One of you two want to send her a message? What well, is she? Isn't she here in Waterdeep? Or no? No, she comes for. She always comes for the council, but I mean, you don't know where she's at currently. But she doesn't actually wow. reside here. Well then. It turns out I do not have sending this on this day. Okay. How of the day is it? Um, it's actually kind of early in the day. It's about 1 p.m. I mean, I can, I'll send it to her. She just typically responds to you guys better. I'm not really certain that's true. Hello there, Silver Lady. It is your favorite um, warrior people. <laughs> we have something you want. Um, meet us at the talking place. One more. Bye. Meet us at the talking place. <laughs> the council and could not just. We have something you want. Meet us well, at the I talking place. I realized as soon as I said it, it sounded like a ransom note. <laughs> we have your children. Wow. I don't have any children. It really is a lot of pressure whenever you start thinking you got to put it in a few words and you got to think about exactly what to say. Yeah, I mean, not everybody can make it to the talking place. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something in the uh, Song of the South or something. Come on, Raindrop and Anakin. We're the going to the place. talking place. We're all going to the talking place. Everybody's got a talking place. A talking right. place to go, go, okay. go. Echo, do you want to go to the council? They're being mean to me. I said go with you, <laughs> ma'am. Oh, jeez. Sean, you need to send them the um, meme that you sent me. The which one? The, on Instagram. <laughs> which one? 
the, exactly, the one yeah. about the the little boy that raises his hand. Oh, <laughs> I saw another one of that same same one earlier today. I I said I have said the other one, but all right. So um, <laughs> it doesn't take long, and you hear back that I'm not. You hear back that she says I'm not sure what exactly you would be referring to or where you would be referring to but i will assume water deep <laughs> as okay that's all she says <laughs> yeah. i mean oh, honestly anybody that talks to diello should just understand that the speaker language by now <laughs> Some things you just have to assume does Ant right. Eater know that his name is Ant Eater? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys are heading towards um, where you believe Elio should show up, <laughs> what direction are we heading? Uh, east. You're going to make me actually have to study these maps, aren't you? <laughs> well, no. I was just kind of, while people were getting, because I, I went out and flew up and down the coastline, so I saw a couple of things. Because when I was collecting uh, lunch, um, I just saw some interesting things that might be, uh, depending on which way we're going. Well, you do actually come across... Um, well, let me see how many of these. Roll a. Uh, let's see. Since, since you were the one looking for so much, roll a d6 for me. All right. Does he get per, um, Does he get advantage on perception checks? This isn't a perception check. No. Oh. This that is, is a quantity six, check. Baby, look at that. That's a what? That is a, a natural six. Uh oh. Hey. Would you please start rolling with some real dice and not digital dice? Wow. So that um, is interesting. Hold on. Let's see if I can uh, figure I out how. I rolled a, a d6 and hit a six. I think, I think that's good. Oh, he said for you to roll a d6? Yes. <laughs> A D6 I and I hit a D6. Like I couldn't make it a seven. I tried. You, yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. It was perfect. I'm not used to rolling those. I rolled the big dice. Uh, yeah, um, I usually, well, this is going to be an I usually use metric dice. So my six would have been like a seven point four on on metric. All right. So um, you actually let me get the screen down so you can see. I usually roll sixes on D20s. <laughs> Me too. You played with <laughs> Y'all actually see six of these things. Oh. Ugh. Isn't that what you were looking for to eat earlier? Six of oh, these you're not going to eat that. It, it is uh, about twice the size of y'all. There are six of them. What? Wait, where? What? Where is this at? Um, this is, you, you find it on an empty street on the way to um where the council meets so i'm about 30 feet in the air just kind of floating around everybody and i see them first I'm like you yep. know what i did the only thing i could do and i hate wasting food but i start slinging these baby sea turtles at those things <laughs> So I'm going to make sure raindrop stays sure. out of your um reach. Okay. By the way, these things are pretty <clears throat> are they on a map? This will be, in, be an interesting fight when y'all get back. I, I wasn't expecting to roll a six. <laughs> Neither was I. But hey. Oh, it'll be see. fun. So anyway, now they're all shook up because they're just thinking, what do we do? It's raining baby It's raining turtles. turtles. <laughs> they're probably hungry, so they're going to be distracted by eating all the baby sea turtles, and we're just going to walk right on through. It doesn't look like they have a stomach, though. 
It's in well, oh, yeah. It there. doesn't have a stomach. I will give you uh, somewhat of a hint. These things are undead. Oh, those that's Ares' like favored enemy. He'll be able to just turn them away from us. I think we haven't fought anything was undead. Was it Ares that time. likes the undead or Zolder? Yes. It was, was you that, that, to... that turned undead, wasn't it? I don't have that ability anymore, though. No, oh, I did. I did. No, no. What did I do? Oh, you I, have... I did a suggestion. Yeah, but no, Ares used had to... Yeah, I've, got, I've got Destroy Undead. Okay, I knew, I knew some, somebody had something to do with Undead. Well, yeah, but Ares well, used to do it also. Hopefully you can destroy some of these. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. long. That was the first time I found one. That was like when you were a baby, Paladin. So, <laughs> where are they in relation to where the group is? Because I would imagine, pun intended, I would have the bird's eye view. So, how much time do I have uh, before they all see one another? I'll get. I'd say two rounds, so about twelve seconds. I'm gonna start dropping turtles on the group. Okay, on the wait, the group of them or the group of yeah. Okay, <laughs> or your group? Yes. <laughs> you talking about? Uh, Aries and Zaldin in there. Yes, I'm going to throw sea turtles at the group of adventurers. Okay. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I assume after they start getting hit with one or two of these squishy little sea turtles, they will stop in place and ask themselves what is happening. Yeah, that's, they that's will see a They will see a frantic red chicken coming. <laughs> Not giving them the, the dragon chicken. That's right. <laughs> Swing and turn. Uh, so we will pick <coughs> up the fight with. Um, I'm trying to remember what the names were. Uh, sticks and coloxes. Ankle lockers. Ankle lockers. They look like um, the rat from um, the from Ninja Turtles. They're Splinter. Yeah, they look like a demonic splinter. If Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird would have been on, um, like Angel Dust, <laughs> oh yeah, right. that would be him. Wow. And then Shredder would have just looked like some nine-year-old paper kid from the fifties. Ah. It actually does kind of look like maybe if it looks like Splinter, then it's more like. Um, Splinter got a hold of the bad ooze that, that Shredder got in the uh, part two. Yeah, exactly. The super ooze. <laughs> That's right. The super ooze. His super Ooh. ooze mixed with a little bit of that water deep platinum chicken, and he's <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's through oh, the roof. Next week, guys, um, we'll probably have to go ahead and see if maybe we can shoot for Sunday night. I don't know if you guys have planned Sunday night, but I'm having my infusion on um, Monday afternoon and Tuesday afternoon. And um, I think she said she's coming at 2.30. And so it's like an hour to set up and then two hours for the infusion. She'll There's going to be, for a little bit. yeah, there'll be like no, but by Tuesday evening, it'll be like the worst of it. So. There's no mm. chance I'll be playing Tuesday. Okay. Do you know if like you're gonna maybe just that's gonna cause your claws to pop like for the first time? Like if you're gonna have is it like adamantium or maybe they do them like aluminum or what are they infusing your bones with? Because I mean it could be anything. You could be like super so- soldier program right now. That would be really cool. I, mean, um, you try to get I don't even have a cool enough like, oh, answer to come back yeah, with that yeah. because it would just be cool if I could be the Winter Soldier, but good Winter Soldier, like after Black Panther Winter Soldier. Mm, so like the Summer Soldier. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. All right, guys. I don't know if y'all can hear me or not. My, my other AirPods finally died. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. Next, we can hear you. Well, I'm fixing to shut it down for this week, and we will pick it up. So we said we're going to try Sunday night. 
Does that go with you guys? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. Yeah. Let's plan for Sunday night then. All right. Uh, All right. Ready. Let me write my notes down here to make sure I don't remember that I'm throwing baby sea turtles, innocent baby sea turtles at people. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Innocent hey, baby turtles. All right. Love you guys. All right. Bye, love guys. Love you. Love y'all. Yeah. Bye.